Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy and Promo, and today we will be taking a look at the EcoFlow Delta Max 2000. Now the Delta Max 2000 has a capacity of 2016 watt hours, and it has the max output of 3400 watts while using X-Boost. So that means that the Delta Max 2000 can give power up to 99% of all the devices in your home. So that means that the Delta Max 2000 is able to power up to 99% of your home devices. So you can take this with you camping, if you're RVing, you can put this in your work workshop, or you can use it up as a backup power source if your electricity goes out. So that is exactly what I did. It took me about a day, day and a half to kill this battery. And then I wanted to also see how long it would take to fully charge from zero to a hundred percent. So in this video, you're going to go through the journey of me cooking with a skillet, using a air fryer, using a, a convection oven, plugging this thing into a refrigerator, the TV lamps, and anything you can think of in those situations. So a really fun story happened with the Delta Max 2000 is about two weeks after this has arrived, our electricity went out with a huge thunderstorm here in the Midwest. Now there's a bunch of food that's sitting in the freezer and refrigerator. So there's a lot of money that is sitting in there that, you know, a lot of times you don't want to go to waste. Now taking a look at all of the outlets and plugs that you have for the EcoFlow Max, you will have six AC outlets. You'll also have two DC outlets and then one car power outlet. And then on the side, you will be able to increase your capacity of the Delta Max with two more Delta Maxes up to six kilowatt hours with those two plugs that you see there. And then taking a look at the other side with the display, you will have two fast charge USBs. You'll have two USB A's and then two 100 watt USB C's. Now to start off this review, I wanted to use everyday appliances. So here you can see a convection oven as well as an air fryer. Now I tested both of these individually, but I also did plug in both at the same time to test X boost. Now, in order for you to draw power from the AC outlets, you do have to hit that gray button to turn on that section. So this way you can draw power. Now, once you have it plugged in, you turn on your appliance and now you're able to take a look at the back side at the display to see what your battery percentage is as well as how much power you are drawing. So not only can you see it on the back of the unit, but you can also take a look at the EcoFlow application at the, the unit's temperature, how much battery percentage is left and the output and also the time left with that appliance. So now it's been nine minutes. We're from the original percentage down to 75%. So here's a sped up video of me using both appliances at the exact same time. Now I do highly suggest only using one big appliance like this at a time, but again, we are testing for that X boost. So right now we are pulling right around 2,800 Watts, which is below that 3,400 Watts that you're able to go up to. If you don't have X boost on, this will automatically shut off after one minute. Now this is just me plugging in the regular convection oven, making food for the 12 year old. So I have, uh, you know, in an everyday situation, you're baking food and you have two other things plugged in at the same time, maybe a larger tablet or laptop, and then also your cell phone going along with it. And again, I love the EcoFlow application, letting you know the temperature of the unit, the percentage left, as well as all of the plugs that is being in use. Now, Samsung users will love this. Taking a look at the phone, you do have your fast charging as well as super fast charging when you use the Delta Max. Then we went from 75% to 12 minutes of cooking, down to 62%. Still charging a large tablet and cell phone. Now, a huge thing when the power goes out is going to be your freezer. There's hundreds of dollars of food sitting in there. You want to make sure it all stays cold and frozen. So here you can turn on that AC power section and now we have power to the freezer. But everybody knows it doesn't run 24 seven every single minute. So it runs and then it stops and then it runs and stops in order for it to keep its coldness. Now, another scenario is you want to see what's going on with the news. You want to see if there's a tornado around. You want to see what's going on with the weather. Your elect electricity is out. So then you are able to easily power your large TV and also have my sound bar plugged in as well. And if you wanted to, you can still keep plugging in all the rest of your devices, your cell phones and tablets with those plugs there because a TV and sound bar doesn't really pull that much electricity. Next up is a smaller refrigerator. Now, if you don't have a full fridge, which I will show later in this video, you can simply 
quickly plug this in and keep it going. You can see we're sitting at 57%, but it'll last for eight more hours. So here we are the following morning. I still have battery percentage left, and so I wanted to cook some breakfast. So I pulled out the skillet or griddle, whatever you would like to call it. And so just remember, you don't only have to use this in your home if your electricity goes out. You can use this with something very similar if you're camping with family or if you have a stovetop with an RV. So right here, it is drawing right around 1500 watts. I'm at 43% battery left and it can cook for another 30 minutes. Now let's listen to that sound of goodness. So when it started, it was at 43%. Been cooking for 11 minutes and 30 seconds. We are now done. So going from 43% down to 30. That is 13% down in about 11 and a half minutes. When you're finished, just head over to your section, turn it off. You can unplug and you're finished. Now going back to the scenario of you losing electricity, here you are plugging in a very simple lamp and also charging those rechargeable batteries. Again, you have to be ready for pretty much anything that's going on. So if you lose that power, you'd be able to give power to everything that you would need in that situation. So here's that situation of plugging in your full-size refrigerator with freezer drawer on the bottom while also entertaining the little ones if your electricity did go out. Now I've mentioned X-Boost several times in this video, so if you wanted to read a little bit more about it, the most important thing is that it's best to only power one at a time and it's good for hair dryers, kitchen appliances, power tools, and more. So the hair dryer is super powerful. I can switch it between high and low. You can see the change of wattage on the machine, but this is the final test to see how long it would take for it to fully drain and what happens when the power is fully gone. Now that the power station is dead, you lift up your little gate to power it back up. You can charge it through solar, through your car, a generator, or through the regular outlet in your home. So this is the test to see how long it would take to go from zero to 100%. So I will be going in intervals of every 30 minutes. So you'll see where it's sitting after 30 minutes, an hour, hour and a half, and then when it's at its full 100%. So I do wanna let you guys know that as you are charging something like this, uh, and there's a lot of circuits in there, a lot of protections going on inside of these units, same thing with cell phones. It will charge at its fastest at the very beginning. And then slowly over time, as it gets closer to 100%, it will slow down its current or its power that it is drawing in. And going back to that application, you'd be able to see everything that's happening. Again, you have a really nice graphic. It's going to show what the percentage is at, what the input is, and how long it will take. It has now been 30 minutes since we first started charging from zero. Now sitting at 40%. So 40% in 30 minutes, pulling in 1,688 watts. Take a look at the application. 1,688 watts still coming in. Again, really close to that 40%. Uh, but I am curious to see if this number will go down as it gets closer to 100% has now been one hour charging from 0%. Now sitting at 74%, you see the input now has decreased to 1,194. Uh, used to be over 1,600. So as it does get closer to 100%, it does slow down. Now sitting next to 75%, the 1,195 watts. It has now been an hour and a half we're now sitting at 93%. So it's about 31 minutes left. The input has now gone down to 490, close to 500. It is now an hour 45, sitting at 100%. 
So I don't know if it just finished right now or if it was about five minutes ago, but we'll say about an hour and 40 minutes for a full charge. So you might be wondering what all can you plug in into the EcoFlow Delta Max 2000 and for how long? So if you plug in a cell phone right around 11 watt hours, you're able to charge it from zero to 100% 175 times. If you have a drone that's right around 40 watt hours, you'll be able to charge it from zero to 100% 48 times. If you own a laptop that is 60 watt hour in terms of the plug and the full charge, you'll be able to do that from zero to 100% 32 times. Now, if you have a mini fridge right around 60 watts you'd be able to have that thing going for 33 to 66 hours just depending on what you have your setting at in terms of the coldness of that mini fridge in terms of a tv 110 watt it'll charge it or have it going and running for 15 hours if you have a coffee maker right around a thousand watts it'll run consistently for 1.9 hours a microwave right around 1300 watts will be able to run for 1.5 hours an air fryer right around 1500 watts will go and run for 1.2 hours and if you have an air conditioner at that 1800 watt range, then it's gonna run for an hour. Now there are four ways to charge the Eco Max. You are able to go with the regular AC plug, which will go from zero to 80% in 65 minutes. You can use a smart generator 100% in 1.8 hours. You can also plug in two 400 watt solar panels and it'll go to 100% in about 3.2 to 6.3 hours depending on the sunlight coming. And then you also have your 12 volt car charger and go to 100% in 21 hours. Now there are two websites I do wanna show you. First off, it's the official EcoFlow website. And then we'll also go over into the Amazon page as well. So you can take a look at both pages. You can get some good details off of both of them. And you can also purchase from either one that you would like. So first off, take a look at the EcoFlow website. Uh, this right here is just looking at all of the power stations. Now they do have the Delta series, which is the one that we're looking at today. And as you scroll down, you can see multiple options for the Delta series. Now, if you're looking for something a little bit smaller you can look at the river series and they have a few options down on the bottom over here but let's take a look at the ones that they have for delta so they have the ecoflow delta mini the ecoflow delta then we also have the ecoflow delta max which is the one in today's video and then the ecoflow delta pro and with the pro you can see right over here that there's a 30 amp plug which means you are able to plug in a dryer if you need to. Now let's move over into the EcoFlow Delta Max. And so you are able to choose between the 2000 version or the 1600 version. Uh, you know, I would highly suggest the 2000 version just because it really does power pretty much every single thing in your home or if you are RVing or camping. So scrolling down this page, I mean, there's five main selling points on the very top. And as you go down, you can read a little bit more about that expandable home backup power, convenience of solar panels, and just going off grid, staying fully green. You've seen in today's video, pretty much almost every single thing in the home will be able to be plugged in uh, and working. Now, I wanted to scroll down just to kind of show you a few of these details right here. So we kind of talked a little bit about what happens and how long you're able to plug some things in. So if you do have a 10 watt light bulb, it can go for 189 hours, uh, 120 watt for can go for 14 hours uh, your 1300 watt you know microwave can go for 1.5 hours it's talking about a washer here's a 50 inch tv for 15 hours a hair dryer for 1.1 hour your coffee maker at a thousand watts is 1.9 hours and then that electric frying pan as you've seen in today's video uh, it'll be able to power it for 1.6 hours now everything in the box will be your delta max it'll also be your ac charging cable the car charging cable your solar charging cable, and then the DC5521 to DC5525, as well as the user manual. Now heading over into the Amazon page, I did want to show you this in case if this is where you wanted to purchase it from. And you do have the option right here for the Delta Max 2000 with the 160 watt solar panel. So this way, if you wanted to go a little bit off grid, go a little bit more green and you wanted to charge, uh, you know, as you're camping, you are able to do it from this way as well. Uh, and now as you scroll down, you'll be able to take a look at some details here. Uh, there's just a couple things I wanted to show you on this page. So if you did go for a additional Delta Max or two additional, this is what it looks like when you have all 
all three of them plugged in. You have your main one on the bottom. Both of these two are plugged into the side, which is now generating up to six kilowatt hours. Now, really, that's going to charge literally every single thing in the home. Here's the rest of all the, the, the specifications, some more details if you want to take a look at it. Now, the last thing I want to look at is just going to be a couple images up here on the very top. Some people do like to learn off of visuals. So again, uh, lastly, it does have the 2400 watt AC output up to 3400 watts with the X boost. And then if you take a look over here for all the different charging methods, as we've seen from before, you have solar charging, the AC fast charging. If you do have that smart generator of that 1800 watt smart generator, you can plug it in that way as well as car charging. So this was everything I wanted to show off between the Amazon page as well as the EcoFlow website itself. So if you're looking for the, the Delta Max right here, or if you want one a little bit, little bit bigger or one a little bit smaller, these are the two landing pages that you would want to go to. Again, both of these are linked below the video inside the description. So what do you guys think about the EcoFlow Delta Max 2000? And I do want to give a huge thank you to the EcoFlow team for sending this out for a review. I've actually noticed this before and I wanted to give this thing a test and I was super glad I was able to do that and not only just test it, but use it in real life. So if you guys appreciated this video, make sure you give this thing a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe, subscribe on the very bottom left hand side. And if you appreciate this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.